This is a story. Are you ready for a story? It was 80s week, and I was having a hard time finding songs. 80s songs weren't good for me. And I knew it'd be so different than anything anybody was doing, just because... I don't know, it's, it's not, you know, it's not your pop 100 or anything. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, and the baffled king composing, hallelujah. hallelujah. It makes you think, and, you know, it makes you feel. And uh, because, I mean, even just that, that word, hallelujah, it's a, a special word, and it's a word reserved for God. And, and uh, to be able to, you know, say that on a stage in front of millions of people, you know, to praise my king. It was, I got real excited about that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Music has that power Hallelujah. to calm or that power to move or that power to just give you emotions of, of any kind. What's behind it? What's, what's the heart behind it? And that's where I've given my heart to Christ. And I think that that comes through. And, Sometimes people don't know what it is, you know, they're like, what is it? You know, people are drawn to it, but they don't know, but it's, it's there behind, behind the music. There's something bigger. There's always something bigger behind whatever you're doing. I was born into a, a Christian family, and uh, my dad had his master's in theology, and and I accepted Christ as a child, but it was, it was an empty claim. I just, I just kind of did it because my brother, my little brother, did it before me. So it wasn't until about probably my sophomore year of high school, I was, uh, my parents signed me up for church camp. I didn't want to go. I wanted to stay with my girlfriend, a girlfriend that I wasn't supposed to have. And, <laughs> and, uh, but I went that summer and kind of had, it was the first time that I really felt moved by God. And I remember the Dave Crowder band was there. and. Uh, even it, was, it originally was through the music that the music just got to me in a way that it never had and, and just the, the songs we were singing were just really moving to me and then I just was more intrigued by, by the messages in our small time, you know, I just, that's when my, my love for, for God really grew and that's when I really dedicated my life to, uh, to the teachings of Jesus. You know, I just don't even see a reason to live if, if it's just us. And, you know, and so through getting to know God, I have purpose in it. You know, every day it's, it's another chance to get closer to that goal and think all of life is just about getting to know God and getting to know what He likes and what He doesn't like and, you know, how we should be. And, and in the end, we'll be made perfect when we die and, uh, and we'll go on forever. I came to a peace with myself that that I'm um, working for God's glory doesn't necessarily mean singing worship songs, you know. I think God puts things on your heart and uh, there's times in your life what you're going through that's what you sing about, things that are worthy of praise, things like love and, and such. <laughs> but, um, uh, I don't know, I just want to write some good music. <laughs> American Idol they asked us to, you know, sum up our life goals and I and I said I wanted to be a loving father and a faithful husband and a servant of all. And uh, I very much want to be those things. Those are the biggest things in my life, all things that honor God, but I think the servant of all, that's the uh, main one and I think that's that's what Jesus came to be and I think that's what we're called to be and it's to give our life for God, to give our life for those around us, to give our life you know, for, for the good fight, and uh, that's what I'm here to do. My name is Jason Castro, and I am second.